Hey, what's up everybody? This was my dive the other day, and it ended up being a triple whammy dive, like three things went wrong. The first thing was, we did a lot of yard work this weekend, and my legs were shot. My knees were weak, my quads were weak. I was really worried about swimming, but I said, ah, what the heck, let's just go for it. So this is my first dive, diving shallow. Well, I dive shallow anyway, but here's when I found whammy number two. I couldn't equalize. I don't understand why. The good thing was I wasn't cold because it was really sunny. Um, the water was clear and I noticed that there's a lot less life in the water. There were a lot of juvenile fish like you see the small munu there which is a good sign for the fishery. And by the way, a lot of the area that I dive, the DLNR just designated it as a kind of restricted fishing area. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, I don't think it's gonna bother me that much because like I said, I don't shoot the fish that are the target species that are gonna have the bag limit. So this is my second dive and I did it to take pictures of the small moano. And you can see there's a small moana kali there, a couple munu swam away. So I was just cruising on the bottom, looking at this moana kali. And one day that guy's hopefully will grow up to be really big. And just as I was looking, two small omilo just swim, swam by. I haven't seen omilo in a while. In fact, I haven't seen any papillo in the water for a while. So that was pretty cool. I wanted to see one of the big boys though. So I made another dive here. Still having a hard, hard time equalizing. It's really weird is it seemed I could equalize on the surface, but when I dove down, it was just like stuck. Uh, I don't know whether my sinuses were clogged or whatnot. So that didn't help. And also considering that I'm still not 100% from the COVID. So my downtime, even though I'm practicing on land, is still really short. But just try for the best. I was just cruising along there and then I saw a big foul fish that you can see in the distance. Just swimming away. I did find, see a couple big uh, moves, but I couldn't even get close. No chance for that guy. So this is my last dive for the day. And this is going to be whammy number three. So I made the drop and right now my head is hurting. My legs are tired and I still haven't taken a shot. So I figured, ah, I better take a I better take a shot here or either that or just go in. So I landed here looking out into the sand pocket and there's like nothing. But there's a na'inai on the other side of this rock. So I crawl on the bottom. Perch myself up there. Doesn't even see me. I take the shot and there it goes and it falls off. I was going, what the heck? It was a lot further away than I thought. So I was just looking at it, watching it see where it went and it's swimming there and it holds up under that rock so i breathe up make the drop looking for the fish and it's there under this rock which you can barely see sticking my hand in there hoping there's no eel and pull it out and i ended up getting it which was super cool. Even though it was whammy number three, it ended up turning out good because I hate shooting fish and letting it swim off and die. So I got the nai nai for dinner and I'm dispatching it here. And I thought I'd try something and try uh, scaling it in the water to see if anything came in. So I started to scale it and as I was floating, my legs started to get kind of pre-cramp. That pre-cramp feeling, so I've, I felt like, ah, it's, it's all over. Time to go in. It was a fun day. 
glad I went out. Glad I got a fish. Thanks for watching. And aloha.